There is another tool in Gephi which we haven't talked too much about yet, which however is extremely important in order to make sense of the data. Now here's still the modularity visualization of the CPAN network. And what we now can, for instance, uh, try to do is understand each of those modules and the structure of each of the modules in itself. And one way to do this uh, is to use filters. So with filters there are many many options so basic for instance on the node level so based on attributes of the nodes I can apply a filter based on the edges I can apply a filter etc etc so many options where I can focus on a certain aspect of the graph. So what we now want to do is we just want to focus on a single modularity class for instance to understand the, the structure basically. So I'm selecting here, okay, this is about an attribute of the node, right? I mean, we can see this in the data table. The modularity class is definitely here in this node list. So we do understand it is definitely an attribute of the node. And we say it should, it should be equal, for instance, if you just want to analyze one. Um, if you drag it down here, we can specify, okay, it should be uh, should have the value 0 or show all with, uh, with the value 1 or 2, whatever we want. And if we just click on filter, this becomes active. And now if we only, we only see those with the value 3, you also see the color matches. So this is, this is 3 what we're seeing here. And you can try to make sense of that. And actually if you're running the algorithm, they are based on just that, um, uh, those filtered values basically. Also if I would now jump back to statistics and run some statistics here for instance, uh, we would get a result of, of this specific modularity class. So there are now different, modular, different modules that we're talking about or different centralities for instance because we are now focusing on this. So we see here a classic hub structure I would say, very centralized, the whole network. But maybe let's see whether uh, how the others look like so we can you see here we see a much denser network, at least it, it seems denser, and there's, well there's just one hub, but the rest of the network is pretty decentralized, I would say. The orange one up here, again, very centralized. Uh, and so I think this is a very interesting way to just look at things again, see how they are structured, compare those different um, there's different communities in the end. Oh, this one is a very centralized one again. Yeah, so I, I think that's that's something you can use to make sense of graphs. As I said, it's 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 not really it's not really rocket science where you you have many many options here that you can draw from and if you just want to remove it again you can just make a, a right click and then you are, are here at your original picture. So filter as a way to focus your attention and to focus the visualization on a certain aspect that you want to show.